Welcome everyone to another extreme off-road silly build and today we're dealing with a 2011 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. Now it's a 1330 horsepower 8 litre W16 engine which is two narrow angle V8s bolted together and it weighs 3952 pounds. Now this is the second most powerful car that we've put on this course after the uh, Toyota Supra from Fast and Furious. Though if you watch that it was a fair bit of a handful bouncing around all over the place so I'm hoping that this will be a bit better since it has small weight and it was made for, for with all-wheel drive originally so it shouldn't have any understeer problems either so yeah let's see what it can do now top speed certainly isn't going to be an issue with this car but this course doesn't really have any major straights on it so it's not really going to play a bigger role Oh, squirming all over the place there. And I missed that checkpoint. Well, that's the first. That's the first time that's happened so far in this series. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think the weight on this is going to be, be a big issue because sand on the ground and it just wobbles all over the place. Personally, I think the last thing this car needed was more power, but hey ho. Ow. Sounds like in the best angle ever to come down on a jump. Got landing fine. This weight is certainly killing all the acceleration. And again, maybe it's always the fact that it's got off-road tyres and it's on an off-road course. So it's like you've got all the grip in the world. Whoa! Oh, kangaroo moment. Had no way of stopping that then, because it bounced back up in the air when I was still doing more than 100 mile an hour. Well, it was less of a handful than the uh, 1,400 plus horsepower Super, but it's not all that much faster. Uh, still bouncing around a fair bit, and it wasn't really being able to put the power down because these off-road tyres, because that's what every car on this has, and uh, it's on an off-road course, so it's just not able to put the grip down at all. When you've got more than 1,100 foot-pounds of torque, that's just going to add to your problems as well with the 1,300 plus horsepower. So yeah, it was just struggling for grip. It barely got above 160. So yeah, for a car that can do more than 260 miles an hour, that's not fast at all. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.